Welcome back to Stay Out of the House. This is version zero. Zero. I <laughs> just. Uh, 0.8. I was just like, wait, what? Yeah, wait, yes? No. 0.8. Got a. Intense main menu. Damn. We're gonna do the house. Also, we're gonna. Check. Ooh, FOV. We're gonna make that uh, 90. Not a hundred, not a beyond a hundred, but not a fish. It just feels like fish eye, you know? And, uh, ooh, 1999, maybe. Like, 1995 is like, ooh, 1999. Good times, good times. Frame rate cap, smart. We're gonna do 120. Hell yeah, it's gonna be nice and smooth and hopefully not mess up. Jump, jump. The jump scare has an audio. Well, isn't that a first? So, like, non massacre with the alarming uh, fire truck noises, you could make it less if you're a pussy. We're gonna leave it alone. I, I think it should be fine by default. We, we shouldn't have to change anything. But yeah, the house. Enter the house. Is it like no filter? I'm not used to this. I might change the filters in 1999 if it's way too clean. We'll see. There's more I have to talk about, too. I wonder when was the first time I played this game, seriously. It's been so long. Let's see. Might also have to change the brightness. My stomach. Also, her name is Roxanne. What did he do to me? Yeah, I had to change a few things. The mouse sensitivity... It's fine now. Alright, I, I made it a little brighter. Like, maybe it's too bright, but I'm gonna double check. Let's get to it, though. I don't want to make it too bright, but I want to actually be able to see. And Stevie's loud. So, so wait. There's no button, I can't turn it off. Maybe the- maybe it's also too clean. Oh, Stevie's just noisy, though. I wanna say a few more things. Uh, wait. Uh... Let's see ch Whoa. It changed the lighting a lot, too. Give it to uh, the Silent Hill 1 kind of, uh, fog draw distance. VHS too blurry. Hmm. Yeah, I still prefer 1999, or what used to be called, I think, PSX. But, um, I'll check out the rest of the room, see if it's too bright. Because I want to be able to see, but I'll have to remind myself, like, with a lighter. Yeah, actually, with a lighter? Yeah, we'll turn it down a little. Like, we, will, we don't want it this dark. I can't even see the <laughs> You can't even see the font when it's below this point one. so it's like, ah, shit. You, you wouldn't even be able to know where the keys are or how to get back. Leave it at one. Like, I want it dark because it's a horror game. But I don't want it so dark I can't see shit, you know? Because if I turn off the lighter... It's really dark. Like, look at this. I mean, it'll probably be brightened in editing, but just take my word for it. I had to brighten it in editing. But, uh, yeah. It's version 0.8. I want to get away from this TV. Um, let me just search through this room quickly first. Utilize. Okay. We're out of the TV room. Also, there's vents here. I don't remember that. Also... The lighter is fucking loud. Strange. My headset's actually quiet. The lighter found. Let's see. I don't know if that would turn. Like, I don't want jump scares quiet, but it's... weirdly, I don't know if this is thing in the modern versions, but the lighter's loud. Like, I know when I. Like, when you hear this. Wait. If you hear this beeping on my headset. I generally get an idea of how loud is, like, good, or what's good, what's medium, what's too quiet, what's too loud. But I'd honestly say my headset's too quiet. But if I turn it up loud, 
<laughs> it's like a fire extinguisher might hear this fucking light. This light is really loud. I don't know why. But either way, uh, we'll try to get around that by turning it down to the options, but not the jump scare noise, because I want to get spooked, hopefully surprised. And this is version 0 0.8. 4262. Uh, much of it probably is very similar, but I'm uh, hoping to be pleasantly surprised. No... no paperclip? Hmm. But yeah, one thing I will less, at least explain, because I'm really... I'm lost right now. It's been a while. Version 0 0.8 is out, and as the patch notes would say, I don't know if it would be spoilers for other people, enhancements to the AI. They're keeping it vague and not explaining, so there's something to do with the AI of the enemies are now smarter or more enhanced, so I'm looking forward to that. Next, you can set bear traps against the killer too. Three, security cameras. I don't know where they are, so that's going to be tricky. Because I'm sure there's someone watching the security cameras, or may let off alarms if we're caught by security cameras. Uh, more difficulties, uh, more difficulty as the days progress, the more times you're caught. I think it's like you get caught, you get beaten, and a day passes. So, the more you get caught, the harder it's going to get. I don't know how. I'm kind of intrigued. So, if we do beat the game, I'll probably because there's no save system in this game right now. We had to do this in a single sitting still, um, or die trying. So likely if I beat the game with or without dying, then maybe in a second playthrough we can see what difficulty is being mentioned on like the final day, like day three, the third life, the last life, or however many lives you have. What kind of difficulty are they talking about? I'm curious. Uh, knife combat apparently exists, a new family member, and more. Um, everything else in 0 0.8 will be involving AI enhancements and features. Um, so likely after I do this, I will not play any more 0.8, but in 0.9, they'll add the save system, voice acting, final finishing touches, and uh, that'll be it. So yeah, 0.8, I'm going to play everything relating to 0.8, and maybe play it at 0.9, or just ignore 0.9 and wait till just the full release to play the final version. So... With that said and done, we'll just uh, try to beat it. I have to do this in a single sitting, so I mean, I... Chunky rat! Leather rug! It's made of skin corpse. Look at this chunky boy. Cheesy baby. Let's see. Yeah, I'll just try to play it casually, and uh... Maybe minimal skipping, unless it... Bullet. Bullet? Hmm. Interesting. I'll just try to remember everything that I know about the game. It's set to 9 o'clock. Oh, yeah. Um, I'll probably write that down. So I'm not going to look up a walkthrough. I remember the clocks had a password for the bunker? I just don't remember it off by heart. Bop -de bop Sound meter? Uh, no thanks. I'm good. Don't think... A lot of things as I remember it. I just gotta make sure I don't trip over a wire. Hmm? I'm mildly curious on like what would happen if I just push the alarm button. It's probably one of the ways you can escape. You hit the button, he comes storming in, but you're hiding. No cables is lucky me, I guess. Hmm. Otherwise... No wires here. Locked as expected. All right. Uh, note, note, note. Four two six two. Whoops. Four two six. Excellent. I'm still really used to in the past versions, like finishing this up. Activating the clock. I think now it's just time based now rather than script based. Uh oh. I knew I heard a door unlock! Oh, he's patrolling here now. God damn it. Okay. 
But, I don't know. I'd rather keep him ignorant of my existence as long as possible, honestly. Also wanting to figure out just for the... Oop. For the sake of curiosity, I want to know when's the first time I actually started playing this game. I'm actually really curious now. There's just so much nostalgia jumping back into this. Yeah. Let's see, I wonder... Oh god, it's so dark when I turn that off. Just gotta try to... Run on by without being spotted. Oh, wait, 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 what? This is different, this is new. Feels like I've been locked in this house for weeks, but it's only been a few days. I'm losing track of time. I hear wailing coming from under the house. What is he doing down there? I can't think about that. There are tunnels down there. Looked like they went on forever. I tried to escape, but he caught me with that damned radar. Well, he has the radar. He locked me back upstairs, but I saw where he keeps the radar. Uh, he locks it in the closet. The combination is 5291. Mm -hmm. I, I remember do that I do enjoy the, the radar, although it is a bit loud whenever you activate it. And then I have to always edit it, and <laughs> edit the sound in editing, because turning on is like, beep! And you're like, ow! And it hurts your ears. I'm gonna try to escape again, quote-unquote, tonight. Anyways, so yeah, now the radar is not just handed to you also. What? So... What? That, that's, I guess, the, the dining room? The kitchen? Oh, looks like he's hacking stuff now. So the mama should be in the wheelchair and screaming, if I remember correctly. I barely really remember much of that character since last time I played. Did I win? Hmm? Is he screaming? Like, he really doesn't like the alarm clock. Okay. Yes, that's it. Come closer. Really? Come, come closer? Yeah. Mildly gross. So let's see. We have two lockpicks. It doesn't mention how many bullets we have. Which maybe should be a thing they add. I like under the lockpicks shows you how many how many bullets you have, it would be a suggestion. One last thing actually, before I get too into it and then people don't fucking uh, see it because of viewer retention and attention span, but I won't show any endings because that's probably still under, um, what's the word? Wait, what is the word? I can't remember the normal phrase. Not copyright protection, uh, I can't even remember the phrase, but either way, people should know what I mean. It's not, I can't, I'm not allowed or shouldn't show the endings, and I'm respecting the wishes, thus. Yeah, she's still there. I don't know how... how much I can uh, peek or let her see me before she starts screaming, or if she does start screaming, or if that's later. But either way. Um, no endings. I don't know how many endings there are. I think there's like now two. The one in the basement that people tend to play and leak anyways, and then... Maybe another one. I just don't know. I haven't paid attention for a while. Alright. Looks like I can no longer exploit the screws by unscrewing them from uh, the <laughs> wrong side. That is at least an improvement. Otherwise, um... I guess I have to try to go through the kitchen. Without being seen. Having no idea where he is, this is very problematic. Is he under the stairs? Fuck. 
Not knowing where he is is extremely problematic. I actually should leave the bandages here. Ah, oh, shit, this again. Oh, this is like deja vu, man. He better leave. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, hello. Okay, I had to try to bolt out of here after a swing so I don't get hit. Yeah. Oh. Can I get away? No. Can he not hit me? Well, I wasn't expecting that. Can you not hit me anymore when I'm crouched? Yeah, this again. Oh, jeez, he hit me now. Jesus Christ. All right, well... That was strange. He couldn't hit me while backing up, perhaps. I guess his hit range needs to be increased. But yeah, um, that's kind of dangerous. We were hit, and uh, I'm gonna wait for, he for him to reset, but unfortunately he just knows we are running around now, and the likeliness of him setting bear traps is now present, which is problematic, and I didn't want that to happen, but... Like, it'd normally be best if he just never sees you, doesn't get angry, and never puts bear traps, because stepping on them is a pain. Unless it's, like, been changed for the better and it's not as painful to get out of them. Alright. I thought that was the alarm button at first. It's actually the gas, which is good, I can turn it off. Alright, well, back to doing anything and not getting caught. Also, I've never seen that door before, I'm not sure where that leads. Need to do this. Uh, where was it again? Screws. Do you, rat, do you mind? Okay, the rat also annoyingly shoves me around. It's kind of annoying. It, it, rat, seriously. Why is the chunky rat shoving me around? Is this like Chad Rat or something? He's annoying. Like, why is he? Is he the only ch physically chunky rat? All the other rats are. Uh, all the other rats, I think, just, like it, like in the kitchen, they just, um, phase through you. That rat is actually still physical. Seven o'clock. Is he up here? Or downstairs? Seven o'clock, though. Seven, 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 seven. This place is an annoying danger. He's always patrolling as soon as I'm always up here. I, every single, what the fuck? Bone sculpture! Somebody's... Curtain, fuck off. Somebody's skeleton hanging in the shower. Typo. Um, no items. But yeah, um, what was I thinking? Seven o'clock, I need to write that down. I think it was like the clocks, you had to write down the number for the successive order that you saw the clocks in, if I remember correctly. Can't 100% remember. It shows a crowd draining a man's blood. Okay. If I remember correctly, I need to find... Hammer! Another bullet. Another paper clip. Another bullet. Can't wait to shoot him. 
Okay, where else can I go? Oh, shit. Um. There's a few areas I need to still travel. Hopefully he's in the kitchen. Hammer, hello. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna leave now. That was a bear trap for a second. Alright. Oh? I need a tool. Um, which one? Oh. Safe bear trap. I can't fucking see shit. Alright, so I sh I can't so I should be able to put this down and trap him, technically. Um, got... Oh, shit. Yeah, we'll upset him. I'm gonna hide for a little bit just in case he runs up here, just to angrily wail at the uh, clock. Otherwise, so I should be able to grab the bear trap, place it somewhere he's not familiar with, but he sh probably it could snap on me too, friendly fire-wise. So I have to be careful to put it in location I remember, and not accidentally put it down, and then... Oh, yep, he is coming. Put it down somewhere, maybe lead him to it, and he'll step on it. I'll have to jump over it, though. Mm -hmm. Oh, come on, he has to show up here? Uh, otherwise, I have to obviously, obviously have to put it in a location I can physically jump over, and the ceiling's not too low. Just trying to remember everything. Most of it is mapped in my head, but I'm kind of curious about the new stuff that's been added. And also want this guy to already fuck off. I hope he doesn't start screaming. Like, why does he do this? He just opens and closes the doors repeatedly. Part of his new AI enhancement. He's obsessed with listening to the doors creak. You know, I'm gonna turn off the, the gamma. The fact that I like, can't see the tools in my hand without the lighter is kind of annoying. As much as I didn't want to... Like, I can't see my fucking tool. So I like, I turn off the lighter and look at what tools in my hand, I legit can't. Now I, now I can. My second monitor on OBS on my left, left monitor, I can sort of see it much better, but... It depends on what monitor you have. If you have an OLED screen, your your blacks are going to be kind of uh, horrible on games. But anyways, I can't still see shit from a distance or whatever. It's either that or you just go through the inventory to change every single uh, weapon. Assuming everything else, though, should be similar. And also, I'll probably make it a habit of dropping my tools around the spawn area. So if I need to come back for anything, or I forget what tool I need, I'll just come back here. Wait, wait. Like, say, this. I don't remember if I'll need that again. Probably a little point later, but whatever. Wooden door. I want to see who this new family member is as well. Also, gone! Eh. I wonder if I should shoot him or not. Hmm. Oh yeah, wait, what was I going to do? With the inventory? Oh yeah, set the bear trap. I'll do it probably in this hallway, because then I can just jump over. Yoink. Okay, now... If I could fucking see... I can't see. Did I set it already? Ugh. Safe. Oh, it's safe for me. Oh. Oh. It's safe for me as well? Okay. So it's... Hmm. I can walk over it easy peasy. No friendly fire? Ooh. I like that. That makes it so much easier to just run away and not have to worry about... Uh, I really want to piss him off and, like, have him chase me. That's nice. But you need the screwdriver if you're wanting to disarm them and reuse them. Chunky rat. This chunky rat is literally also blocking my pathway. Okay. 
the rats have to not be physical. I have to jump over the chunky rat. They're so chunky that I have to jump over them. That is chonk. Like, seriously. Drain cleaner. Everything else, this area. So many chunks. Can I ride on the rats? No. Not this one, at least. I think this one isn't physical. I don't think so. So this rat is perfectly fine, but... The one in there and a lot of other ones are... Too chonk. Yoink! Oh! Oh, cord. Can I cut them? No. Yeah. A knife. I don't want to try using a knife to, like, stab the dude, because... Paperclip. I honestly do not know how damage works. Listen, make this day. I don't remember if I've read this. A bullet. And as usual, I will leave the batteries for later. I'm curious about the knife, but I'm also not wanting to use it. Like, maybe I can kill his mother. Because I don't think his mother attacks. What? My head. Wait, do I, like, just pass out? The throbbing is driving me crazy. Just a scripted moment, okay. Just plot related, okay. Gotcha. I was, like, wor worried, like, I have a time limit every single day or something, then I'd pass out. That would suck. I can still barely see, just even by changing my gamma. Like, I don't even see if I'm... Like, maybe it's just the 1999 version. Like, if I turn it to 19, I can see better. Maybe I should just have it like this, and I don't have to complain so much about the brightness. What is that noise? Is he getting closer? What is that noise? Weird, but yeah, I'm gonna turn uh, down the gamma now again. I'll just keep it as a... Uh, I'm gonna pre just presume the gamma's fucked up for 1999. Like, this should be fun, right? Like, I can't even see on the other end of the hallway. That's perfectly fine in terms of horror. I just want to be able to fucking uh, see close by me. Because when I can hold an item, like, you know, a hammer or drain cleaner, and it's literally black and I can't see it even being poured, that's a problem. But it's, it's also like... Yep. No! Come and chase me! Wait, what? Come on! Big boo. Wait, what? The bear trap! Wait, where did the bear trap go? What? He's gonna turn. He's just gonna turn the poison. What happened to the bear trap I put? Did he, like, step on it and that's why he got angry, or. <laughs> no, but seriously, what, what happened to the bear trap? That's annoying. Fuck. Well, I want to shoot him so he maybe fucks off then. We'll come back and go somewhere else. I also don't want to get hit anymore because I've already been damaged. I probably only need one or two more hits. Probably two more hits. Well, they changed the kitchen a little bit. No cutting table. Ooh, and the chunks, a lot of chunks of meat just nicely placed there. But yeah, I'm going to leave it 1995 now, and I just want to know what happened to my, my thing. Hey, Grandma. Hex key. I need that. But we, at this rate, 
Oh, no rock. We don't really need the lighter. But that's fine enough. A default dark game where I don't use the lighter, perfectly fine. I'm fine with this darkness. Can I can I kill grandma? I wanna know that. Maybe I can stab her. As soon as we use the hex key and use up Let's uh close the door. Cause he loves coming to this bathroom when I'm fucking in here. Alright. Uh how do I do this again? There we go. Open, open, open. I'll drop this. Take that. Probably the same. And... Fuck off, dude. You know what? I'm just gonna run. You know what? Fuck you. You didn't see shit. He, he legit put... Maybe it's like... If he's commonly walking around, maybe he'll see it, but if you have him chase you, then he doesn't see it? Buddy, come here. Let's... Yeah, fuck you. Also, his, the jump scare noise is not loud on my end. Oh, poor buddy. I'm gonna see if I can shoot his grandma. The dude's been stuck on the bear trap, but I'm not even near him, but... This loudness is not going away. I wonder when it will calm down. I'm just gonna wait in the vents and hope the this loud chase shit ends soon. Maybe it's bugged? It's like his chase is not over, but he's stuck? I don't know. I just want it to fuck off. Why isn't it ended? Is he? Mildly stressful, man. Ugh, it's also getting annoying. Yeah, the music finally fucking stopped. Thank God. I just, you know, had to shoot him. <sighs> He'll fuck off for a while. And I can get to doing what I want to do, like stabbing Grandma. And, uh... Just not hopefully stepping in his bear traps. Okay. Let's get back to the task at hand. Using as many items as we can and moving on. Yeah, can you fuck off? We can burn it. He's he's nearby. He might be already resetting. All right, let's see if we can kill Grandma. Ugh. Grandma. Wow! Well, we killed Grandma. We literally hacked her head off. Maybe he'll be upset. All right, well, Grandma's dead. Now she won't scream. Bloody murder. Also, I, the jump scare noise was too quiet, as I was saying. I, uh... Uh... I cranked my headset volume. 
So now it's no longer an issue. I can't carry... Wait, am I some... Aren't... Bat oh yeah, the battery's meant for in here. Let's just start doing this. Battery. Might as well get most of this done. Um, can... Shot at his head and it went through him. I'm upset by that. I hope you by that he'll fuck off again. Tend to his wounds. Um, but yeah, when I when I get the save feature, then I'll see how the knife works on the dude. Um, like maybe the knife will be effective against him. But I'm not gonna try the knife until I can save the game, then test a few things out. I don't know how much damage the knife does. I know it can kill grandma, but um, hmm, just had to. Do whatever else I can, I guess. I just want to get out of this area. Ah, oh, yeah, the wire cutters. That's what I needed. The meat. Man, he's behind there. Hmm. Let us snip the wires. We're already at good progress. What I do want to do, probably, hopefully, he hasn't put down any bear traps. While he's still recovering, hopefully, 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 I can do this in time. Mm, shit, nope, he's recovered. God damn it. I wanted to see if I can at least undo the vent so I have more places to escape, but nope. Um. You have the hammer, right? Alright, I don't know. Let me just go in the vents. Get to the next part. But honestly, though, I think. That'll probably be all I can have in this video. I've already been playing for 40 minutes. And I'll probably be able to do two or three videos at the very least, as long as I don't fuck up. The other thing I missed, though, is... I did... Wait. Hey. Very funny. Let me out of here. I'm serious. It's gone too far. He's now in this room. No, don't do this. Just let me go. I won't tell anybody. He's got a chainsaw. Please let me go. You're sick! Is he... he's gonna do anything? Is he gonna kill him or what? Oh. I wonder if I start smashing the van, he'll start getting upset. Maybe I'll save the dude. There you go. I help him the dude. Either way, I'll leave it here. I hope you enjoyed and look forward to the next. It's like there's two of them. Is there two of them now? Maybe there's two of them. Like, this dude, one with a chance on, the one that is in the first part, maybe, like, the. That'd be crazy. I can't peek under the bed anymore, shit. I remember we used to be able to do the Q and E to tilt. It was kind of weird, but... Interesting. There might be two of them. One with a chainsaw. That's not just simply him with a chainsaw, but does he have a brother now? I'll have to find out in the next episode, I guess. But hey, I hope you enjoyed. Look forward to more of Stay Out of the House 0.8. If you did enjoy, please leave a like, comment, hit that subscribe button, become a subscriber. Hit the notification down below for updates to my videos. Thank you for watching. Until the next time. <clears throat>